Hello everyone, this is John. And this is Rudy. And welcome to another review video. Where today we're going to eat what? Chips! Chips. But not just any kind of chips. These are illegal chips. These three flavors of chips we're about to taste right now are all based on three items that are illegal in the United States of America. Yeah. And that one is... What's this one? Horse. Horse meat. And what's this one? Meat. This one's called Fugu. It's the poison blowfish. And this one is... Kazumarzu, also known as maggot cheese. Disclaimer, none of the following products actually contain horse meat, fugo poison, blowfish, or kazumarzu, or any ingredients that came from those sources. Yeah. All these flavors are designed to taste like those three things. Um, as close as they can, they've done these in food science labs. Compare them to the actual things, but none of these items contain actual illegal ingredients. What do you want to try first? Uh, the horse, the cheese, or the blowfish? The blowfish? Okay. These were created... Um, by the Good Mythical Kitchen, if you're familiar with Rhett and Lake, they have another channel called The Mythical Kitchen, where you got this guy, flavor designed by Mythical Kitchen. He actually partnered with some food scientists. Together, they designed these things to taste similar to. Eventually, my camera will come back to see me here. Um, but anyway, we're going to first try these Fugu chips. Uh, none of the ingredients sound weird. Salt, seasoning, sugar, yeast, garlic, soy sauce. There is a spice, which could be anywhere. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, oh, there's yeah, also yeah. Szechuan peppercorn peppers. I think the Szechuan peppercorn peppers are the ingredient yeah. that's going to show... It's going to give you that kind of buzzy, nummy feeling that the blowfish poison would. Right, let's go ahead and try it. You can see here the chip looks relatively inconspicuous. That is oh, there. Fair. There's Mm. It's salty. Mm, yummy. I've never had Fugo or any type of blowfish. But there is like a an ever so slightly numbing sensation on my tongue that I'm getting. It doesn't really taste fishy. What does it taste like? Socks. Yeah. And and ketchup. Ketchup. Yeah. It has a savory flavor. And there's a little sweetness to it as well. All right, don't fill up because we're gonna try the other ones too. That was the first one. Now do you want to try the horse one or the cheese one? Next? 
horse chips? Yeah. I have ate horse when I was overseas. I believe I was in France or Belgium. One of the two. So I have a little bit of experience in what, to, what this should taste like. Uh, and not surprisingly, it tastes kind of like other red meats like beef. It does have a red color to it. That would do it. Mm. It's a bit tomatoey. There's tomato powder right here. And beef seasoning. Sugar, salt, and vinegar. Malic acid. There is like a sweet and sour aspect to this. There's a tomato y flavor to this. A little beefy. I think I can understand the flavor profile they're going here. <laughs> I'm yeah, face. Okay. Can you see your face on the screen? Yeah. What does this one taste like? Salt. Salt? And socks. And socks? Yeah. You must eat a lot of socks because everything tastes like socks. Yeah. Are socks yummy? Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. That was the horse one. Now we're going to try the last one. Kasu Marzu, also known as maggot cheese. It is cheese that is infected with maggots. Again, doesn't contain any of that. Mm. It's a mm. whey powder dextrose cheddar cheese, mm. salt onion powder, mm. sugar, mm. sesame oil, mm. yeast. Mm. Never had maggot cheese, so I don't know what to expect here. Mm. But this is what it looks like. It's mainly a whitish yellow. It have a has a pungent cheesy smell to it. This is the lightest flavor of the three. It's the least sweet. It's the least savory. But it does have the weirdest smell. It smells like a really light dusting of cheese. But somehow the smell sounds like a punch you in the nose type of smell of cheese. But really like the, the strongest flavor out of this I'm getting is actually potato. So this one really makes me believe that they spent more time with the smell on this one than the flavor. So I really want to open it up. I'm like, oh, that's pungent. It kind of tastes like a really stinky cheese, but the flavor on this one is really light. Okay, what does this one taste like? Peanut butter jelly. Mmm, candy. Peanut butter, jelly, and candy? Yeah. Mm, does it taste like cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Does it taste like maggots? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Yellow, red, or blue? Red. Red? Yeah. Red was my favorite, too. Red had like a salty, sweet, vinegary tomato beefy flavor to it. It was the most complex of the three. It had the, the most going for it. So if, if you're going to try one of these, try the horse meat one. It tastes kind of like a simmered beefy tomato-y 
dish. My second favorite one was probably the blue one, the Fugo. Uh, it just had like an overall savory flavor, very salty, sweet. Um, it had like a little bit of that Szechuan buzzy uh, pepperiness to it. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, I think overall I was kind of disappointed in these that they didn't taste weird enough. They all just kind of taste like regular things. What do you say? Noodles. Yummy noodles? Yeah, yummy noodles. You want some noodles to eat for dinner today? Yeah. Okay, we'll have some noodles for dinner today. Okay. There you go. Illegal chips from the Mythical Kitchen. Overall, I think, slightly slightly on the disappointing side, but none of them tasted bad. Don't fall down. And with that, we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye to everyone. But goodbye, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Go to the channel. And give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye.